Virgo. This is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your love reading here for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And as you guys know, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. Um, we're going to take a look at the past, present, and future with your person. See if there are any changes from the previous day or if this is a completely new story. So... Yeah, let's take a look here. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Um, yeah, so personal reading links are in the description box below this video. And please do remember to hit like, share, and subscribe on my channel. I greatly appreciate that. I hope you're all doing well. Um, okay, so first card, true love, past position. Okay. And stay optimistic about your love life. Okay, Virgo. So the person that you were connecting with in the past, definitely in a position of, or was in a position of <clears throat> excited about a romantic connection with you. Um, and they were trying or staying very optimistic about the connection. Okay. So we do have showing up here the let's see well we have the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces aries leo sagittarius um double pisces for sure um leo okay so definitely in the past your person um was really feeling some serious emotional vibes with you. They were definitely feeling that. Um, I feel there was something here with this person where um, they had a kind of like charm about them um, that might have been something that hooked you in with this person. They had like a boldness, leadership skills, that kind of thing. Um, presented as someone who was quite controlled in a position of power maybe or just someone who like it almost feels like their natural state was my way or the highway kind of thing okay with the with the king of wands here or I'm sorry the queen of wands now <clears throat> pretty set in their ways okay and the hanged man is also here so there was something about your connection and the vibe between you that they felt a sense of like you gave them an opportunity or you showed them um, a path to think differently about this connection right so they had a particular way and they were stuck in their ways but something that you presented to them or just the fact that they felt this was a true love connection um, and they really were feeling quite positive about the connection and maybe even told you at some point, um, stay positive, romance, you know, is here or it's coming or that kind of thing. Um, but I just felt like it feels like it felt like there was something about the emotional vibe that they felt with you that kind of enlightened them to being in a romantic relationship in the past now let's take a look at this moon card because the moon can represent you know like voluntary changes you know stuff within the gut okay sometimes it can represent deception but not like intentional deception it's just kind of like you know when you're out there at night and the moon is shining you really can't see everything clearly but they were going by their vibes with you how they felt about you okay so the five of pentacles is here okay with that some of that vibe was the moon can represent fear so some of that vibe um was also a sense of like feeling like they would be like there was a worry okay about maybe feeling abandoned or left out in the cold or something like that or having some kind of loss maybe losing financial independence you know it, it just feels like they had a lot of deep anxieties and fears and worries within themselves 
selves or in themselves self am i saying that right about this connection like they there was definitely an element of like they worried about struggle it's really strange let's take a look at this king i'm sorry it's queen of wands here oh five of cups too and i was thinking of that and i was saying a fear of abandonment and a fear of loss or not being good enough or feeling uh, like unloved. They, this, this person like had this undercurrent of that within them. And I think that's something that came, that was something about the, like they came prepackaged that way is how I feel when you met them. Okay. So let's see why the hangman is here, but you enlighten them, it, your love or something that you give or, or gave or the things that you said or the things that you did kind of gave them that fresh hope about about love and relationships yeah six of cups you reminded them of like their childhood the innocence that's what you brought to them the playfulness gifts maybe you gave them gifts okay um this person in the past i feel like they thought a lot about the time that you spent together Okay, I really do feel like your person felt like this was the, the romance, uh, true love, lifetime type of connection here. Okay, now I don't know if your person is currently, you're still connected to them or not, but I'm just picking up their past energy. Let's see. And they really wanted, I felt like they, they thought a lot about reuniting with you or connecting with you in some way. Okay. Let's take a look at the present with this person. Attraction. <clears throat> you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay. So the present energy is this person is quite single and doing their own thing. And pentacle energy, it's like they're focused on their financial gains right now. Their solo pleasures. Okay, so that could be, it's not related to dating or anything like that. Solar, solo pre pleasures are like, you know, hobbies, work, creative endeavors, uh, things to make money, um, stability, uh, their luxuries, being self-sufficient at this time. And I also have the Four of Swords. So that's telling me that they are retreating presently from you. Okay, they're not really connecting with you or not trying to be connected, okay, with you at this time. And but the page of pentacles is here as well. And so I do feel like there will be some communication uh, coming from this person about, you know, maybe they got a they get money or something and they tell you about it or a new job or they receive some kind of raise or there's communication about their business plans or their work. So they're really just kind of pulling back their energy, focusing that they're surrounded by pentacles. So really focusing on their stability and their career. Okay. And for you, so the deception part of this here, like this person, I feel like is really trying to find a way to make themselves more attractive to you. Um, but they're not communicating with you on purpose because they're trying to like rebuild or build themselves up. Okay. So the deception part might be because they're not talking to you or they're not telling you and they're in like this healing Re, they, they might be in recovery, maybe they lost money, and they're in this like recovery period right now. Okay, money seems to be like big. They're in solitude. The retreat, rest, recovery, rebuilding, finances, that kind of thing. Let's take a look at the nine of pentacles. Okay, the three of wands, that's travel, expansion, e-commerce. Uh, it's all about the money. <laughs> working with teams, but being solo. Um, this person is like looking at, you know, their return on their investments and the returns that they're trying to get. I know they're not being, there's no romance, romance here at all. Uh, maybe the deception is that they're not telling you that, um, or, you know, they're being deceptive. They're wearing this false mask because I feel like they're not accepting 
<clears throat> the fact that you would have them however they are, but they feel like they need to like put on some kind of front. And so they've been work. They're currently working on this. Let's see the four of swords. Okay. Karma. Wow. Having some kind of a wake up call. That's for sure. Looking at their purpose in life, what they want to do, thinking about this, how they want to approach, how they want to be, coming to terms with who they are as a person, you know, getting stable in their life. Uh, most of it is financially, but it could also be this person trying to get stable in the physical sense, you know, get grounded, right? So a lot of stuff in this retreat and in this time away um, currently is indicative of them like things are epiphanies getting clarity all right let's take a look at this page of pentacles here okay knight of wands so they're going to reach out to you and they're going to do it in a way that's like very surface but what's behind it is the knight of wands okay um their intention here is to um they, they're still very attracted to you there's a physical thing there's a lusty energy here with this person um and i feel like their intention to reach out is to come towards you okay maybe travel to see you but they may not tell you that they may just communicate very lightly and tell you uh, you know hey it's not i'm not seeing long drawn out deep conversations it's just more like well this is what's going on this is what i'm doing and blah 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 but I, what's behind that for them to even initiate with you is more than just what they're you know, they're fronting. It's more about their passion and drive that they have going on in their life and for you because of the attraction here, right? But the Knight of Wands, like that's also a lusty uh, energy as well. So that's why I feel like it's, you know, you can't, I don't think people have lust towards money and their hobbies and drives. It's more like, I mean, I guess you could be lusting after that, but uh, it feels more like it's more physical pleasure, okay? So definitely, I would say there's some communication coming through here. Um, I'm not seeing anything in the way of apologies or anything like that. But I do see they are going to reach out and try to tell you some stuff here now. Pay attention to the red flags and religious factors. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So we have the King of Cups. Two of Pentacles and Strength. Okay. Hmm. It's weird. I've never seen this before, but this message they're just giving me here, I'm just picking up Jesus. <laughs> Are some religious differences between the two of you, and I'm not sure. I feel like there's an energy here of like, this person, your person sees... Like, I don't know if you guys are religious or whatever, um, or there's a spiritual aspect to this person views you as being very spiritual, maybe even, you know, following Jesus or something. Um, and I kind of, it's weird. I kind of, I don't know why, because I don't feel like it re relates to the present. I feel like this person is really just trying to balance out their emotions here. Even though the King of Cups is generally balanced with his emotions, he has this undercurrent of chaos when it comes to his feelings. And with this Two of Pentacles here, this is kind of like making a decision here, having two choices. Let's take a look at this King of Cups here. Let's see what's going on. Oh, wow. Knight of Cups. This person's they're they're what's on their mind is to make some kind of an offer like a proposal a romantic proposal towards you going forward in the future here let's see this two of pentacles wow temperance that's a very healing energy and i feel like this person is really just trying to get balance these are both balance cards trying to steady themselves why is strength here? Okay. <laughs> Four of Pentacles. Well, it's this is long-term security. The courage and the strength. 
to go the distance in this relationship, which is, you know, it's really beautiful. I feel like the red flags are showing up for this person because it's strange. It kind of feels like for them, they were anti-spiritual or anti-God anti or anti-belief. And they're seeing that, I don't know, there's like something... That's like a red flag that's going up for them. It's almost like a calling here with karma is happening in the present. Their life purpose. I don't know if your person is like going into some kind of new spiritual realm or learning some new things, you know, or I don't see them hitting rock bottom or anything, but I just feel like I'm going to pull a card for the red flag card here. Wow, the lovers. Well, that's clear. This person, they always felt like, um, or uh, perhaps they're coming to terms with commitment in marriage and having a deep partnership was always a red flag for them, you know, because that was something that scared them. And if they saw that in you, um, maybe they saw it in the past, maybe they were like, no, 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 I can't. That's like not willing to commit and this is making a decision to do that and also making a decision to look at how that whole idea scared them because there were differences it doesn't always have to be religious it could just be upbringing economical um, geographical racial whatever it might be okay spiritual beliefs could be different So the overall message that I'm getting here is that <clears throat> this person definitely had a thing for you in the past. They felt that true love connection with you. There is nothing here that's telling me that they didn't feel that way about you. They did. And I feel like they still do. But something looks like something occurred where they just went into hiding are they disappear are they disappearing for this like present time that you're listening to this and trying to reorganize themselves and their thoughts let's take a look and see what their love messages are for you or what is coming here marriage wow yeah because the lovers here this relationship is moving towards a sacred union okay i feel like this person wants to marry you virgo I'm, you know, going forward into the future, I, I'm not exactly sure how far or when, but I feel like that's coming for you with this person. And even if it's not exactly, and see, I just get that notification, that's a sign. Even if it's not like traditional marriage, it's that sacred bond, that sacred union between the two of you. See, I bury myself in work to forget you. Yeah, so they could stay focused on what they're trying to build here in their life. And they are afraid to contact you presently. Okay, they are. Um, they don't know what to say. They're not ready. That's what I hear. They're just presently not ready. Okay, let's see what their messages from the past were. The timing just wasn't right in the past. So many things remind me of you. Okay. Okay. And I'm becoming a better person. And I feel like that's because of you, Virgo, that this person, that's what I'm saying, that hanged man energy was like kind of like a wake up, like an inspiration, like in their mind, they felt stuck in themselves and stuck in their life and where they were. And you inspired them to become a better person. Um, they, they are thinking about marriage, definitely. Um but right now, they're burying themselves in work or other things just to try to stay focused. They don't want to contact you. They're afraid to bring anything up to talk to you, the deep, deep stuff about how they truly feel. Okay? Um, and so they will talk to you about very surface, basic things um, to keep the connection. But it's not deep. Let's see what the 
Okay, the future, we will be together again. There you go, Virgo. I replay our conversations over and over. This relationship can stand the test of time, stability. And that's what the Four of Pentacles. Fours always represent structure and foundation and stable situations. And the Four of Pentacles represents long-term security. Okay, um, so I feel that's what's coming for you, Virgo, here. And, you know, in the future, I don't know exactly when, um, For some of you, this could be in the winter, the winter time, a proposal. Now, I don't know if you, you know, want to take that or not. That's up to you, you know, to each their own. But these are the messages that I have. So I'm going to leave that for you. And you can come back tomorrow and see what the next set of messages are for you guys. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much. I will see you guys very soon. Take care.